Yeah, boys. I couldn't be happier with the way things turned out last week. You've really made amends for losing those tag team titles, and now we got them back. I told you, boss. All we had to do was stick together. Yeah, and I won't let you down again, boss. Yeah, I know you won't, Roosevelt. In fact, why don't you boys go kick your heels up? <laughs> like I'll get right back with you. I gotta see a man about a dog. <laughs> That's what you get, Brad. That's what you get right there. The way you tortured me, you talked stealing Barry and giving up their rematch cost for the tag title belts. That's what you get, you little song off like a monkey crap. Guys, come on, come on, let's go. Back up on the task at hand here, bringing you some, bringing you the best professional wrestling action in the United States and all across the world, right here on TCW. Right. And here's two of the top tag teams right now in the world for wrestling today. Of here course, we go! The champions, the Hounds of Hell, Hell and the Challengers are Magic Men. Here we go! And the Hounds of Hell are ticked off this week as a result of what happened to their manager, Boyd Bradford. And I, for one, Matt Rhodes, would not want to be Dallas. I would not want to be Nico. I would not want to be the Magic Man this week. That's Dallas in the ring right now with the Lion and Assassin Cerebus, one of the most evil individuals you'll come across in the sport. And Dallas in a bad spot here. Here comes uh, Roosevelt. Uh -oh. we, saw, we have saw Roosevelt broke it, breaking out of his shell over the past few months. Thanks to his brother, Cerebus, he has really brought out a lot here in Roosevelt as far as his in-ring in conditioning in the best shape of his life. Talking about making strides and improvements. You've got to thank Cerebus for that. And what a dominating tag team the Hounds of Hell have been. Been in a war over the past few months with genetic perfection. We've not heard the last of that either. There we go. Look, you mentioned that was vicious there by Cerebus. He is hungry. Beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex, shades of the great Magnum TA by Roosevelt. And I'll tell you what, we go back to his improvement on his wrestling skill, Brian Thompson. He has improved tenfold since aligning with his brother, Cerebus. And of course, we've got to give some credit. We're crediting this dude to the devil himself, Boyd Bradford. Look at this, Cerebus now waiting for his partner. They're going to do some damage to Dallas. In their minds, Matt Rhodes, I think they're seeing genetic perfection in the ring with them now. They're going to do some damage like they want to do to genetic perfection as a result of what they did to Boyd Bradford. I want to say it again. I think they should be suspended. Big knee drop there by Cerebus. Almost has it put away there and a kick out at two. Dallas here has had the leather laid to him here early on in this contest. But he's going to have to try to use some speed here to try to get a counter attack here on Cerebus. Going to send him off the ropes, but Cerebus with a nice reversal. And both men, I think, throw an elbow up, but Cerebus caught the best of it. Going to hook him here. He's got him up here. He may well be a helicopter like Menor. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Hard impact. Hard impact on Dallas of the Magic Men. Did you see the way his body collided with the canvas? Shades of Al Perez, ladies and gentlemen. Now you see the uh, submission now applied by Roosevelt. And the Hounds of Hell dominating this matchup. Roosevelt just wanting to punish Dallas right now. The Hounds of Hell, the HOH, are bad to the bone. They're wanting to break bodies here in TCW and prove that they 
are the most dominant tag team in professional wrestling. I am still sick to my stomach over the injuries to Boy Bradford. Yeah, there you go, Cerebus. And now Roosevelt is on this offensive attack here, impressive with the HOH, if you will, part of the Bradford family, the current TCW Tag Team Champions. Look out, and now taking a bite out of the there cover. You go. The punch. I mean, we've seen this a lot over punch. the past few months. Look out. I mean, they are taking hunks of hide out of Dallas here of the Magic Man. And Nico over here, he's trying to he's trying to make a make a tag at some point, but he's not had the opportunity here in this matchup. You're taking a tag team that has always been vicious, and now they are mad. Madder than ever before. Their manager out of the picture right now, and somebody's going to pay. And this week, that somebody is Nico in Dallas, and right now, it's Dallas. Oh, pay. and uh, Cerebus just takes a cheap shot at Nico over here on the apron. He's got referee James Beard distracted, and now the double team continues to uh, hear Punishing. by the House of Hell, HOH, if you will. I like these guys. I like them a lot. H -O -H. Oh, right across the throat. HOH in control, Matt Rhodes. Oh, absolutely. And we've, we've saw it so many times in the past. They have dominated the tag team rank here at TCW. Of course, their toughest te test has been genetic perfection. But let's go. not count out the magic man here so far in this matchup. These two are very talented individuals. Well, they're going to need a lot of magic. Magic is a good one. And look out right here. here behind the ref's back. Cerebus choking Dallas over that middle rope there. I'll tell you what, Dallas has been in there. Well, he's been in there the entire contest. Yes, he has. Nico has not been the legal man at any point in time in this matchup. And he needs to be in the worst way possible if the Magic Man will stand a chance here against the Hounds of Hell in this matchup. Dallas trying to fire back here on Cerebus. Look out, Doug Dallas, uh, maybe a desperation type move oh. and a head scissors there. Takes Cerebus down now, but Dallas is, he's, he's face down on the mat, Brian. He is not in a position to make a tag. Cerebus is starting to stir here, and this may favor the HOH here at this moment, but Nico needs a tag in a large way to get in this ring and unleash the magic on the HOH. Ah, uh, he's caught Dallas right here. Spins him around, hooks him, maybe going for a belly to back. Dallas floats over. Oh! Cheap shot from Nico and the tag. And here he comes. And the magic is going to oh. sue in the ring here on TCW. Nico's a first man. He better not worry about dancing. He's in there with the HOH. And I'll tell you what now. The offense reversed now by Cerebus. What a nice head oh. take over there. Nice agility by a larger man. Oh. Spine buster. High impact. Look out here. Oh, and a big miscue by the HOH, and a splash on his own partner and brother. This and go ahead and reverse important, important part of this match, this is where Boyd Bradford might calm things down. Wow, what a springboard moonsault. Cover, oh, and he almost had it. Almost had it. The double axe handle from Dallas. This thing's Back breaking to work. down. Back to work on Cerebus. It's already broke down. James Beard lost control of this match. Oh, and a double storm across the back of Cerebus. Cerebus is hurt. Come on. Where's Roosevelt? This could be one of the biggest upsets in TCW history, Brian. It would be the biggest. This. Oh, man. It may have it. Watch Nico out. turns his attention. Oh, oh. God. Oh. Crash it hard. Crash it. Crash hard on the floor. Dallas now going up high rent district. Oh. Over here. To Roosevelt. the right. Roosevelt's going to say the day. Oh, yeah. 450. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Didn't pay off. Dallas. The big high thing. risk, high risk, little reward there in that situation. And Look now the this. HOH, we've seen, we've seen, we've saw him put a number of people away with this move. Ooh. Oh man, devastating. That's got to be it. One, two, three. HOH, your victors here this week on TCW.